Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, Making Sense of Credit. I'm Tony Hill. I'm a personal small business credit coach, online marketer, YouTuber, Turo uh, host, among other things. Um, look, I just wanted to bring you a quick video. And for you guys who have been with me for a long time, my 11,000 subscribers, sorry I've been away. Been pretty busy, been doing some acting and um, trying to get my dealer's license. So I wanted to bring a quick video uh, to you. Uh, this video is going to be about, if you don't know, July 1st, 2022, pay collections can no longer be on your credit. Okay. But look, before I dive in, uh, please hit the like button. If you like this video, uh, share with your friends and family. Don't keep it to yourself. You know, I always say that. And most of all, please subscribe. Hey, look, so this is a quick video. So pay collections. Look, this happened to me. I actually... Basically, it says I received it on the twenty. I mean, on June second, but I got it on the fifth. So I got you know you, a lot of you guys know that I had cardiac arrest a couple of years ago, and I have three hundred fifty thousand in medical bills. And actually, one evidently slipped through that I didn't know about. So you can. So basically, what I did was because I knew that I first of all I paid it. So you have to pay it first, okay? And that goes. This is not a video for disputing um, collections that you don't have to pay, okay? This is for paying for collections. So some of you who have been trying to dispute that collections and they keep being verified, this video is probably for you. Anyway, so I got this I got this collection, popped up on my, my um, credit. My points were reduced on my Experian by 16 points. Also, you can do this for TransUnion and Equifax also. So what I did was, I went to the dispute center, which most of you guys know if you've seen my videos how to do that. The other, two, the other thing too, that video is kind of outdated, so I'm going to do a new online dispute video. So watch, watch out for that uh, coming, coming soon. So basically, I paid the account, and what I did the next day. So this is the account, $114. This is the creditor collection agency, uh, Merchant and Medical. Okay, and this was uh, this. You said the second, but I received this on the fifth as you can see here, okay? So, and, it's, and it came up, and, and basically what I'm in, if you guys don't know, when you go to your experience, you click that button that says notifications, you'll see this as when you do a disputes and it updates, this is what this is the screen you'll see. So I saw this, this collection said, what the heck, paid it on the fifth. I didn't dispute it until the next day. So I opened up a dispute on the sixth, and I opened up this dispute because I got an email at one at one o three p.m. on the sixth. Check this out. Account dispute updated. So at one twenty three, this account went up was updated, and then also in the same breath, when they get updated, they also sends you send you this disputes results ready. So I disputed it on the sixth one o three updated one twenty three. And this is what happened, but remember that I paid it. So check this out. So the screen, when I would, when you would see the update, I can't go to because it has too much of my private information. But this is that screen. I printed it and then I scanned it for you. So basically, here it is: Merchants and Medical, same account, deleted. Twenty minutes later, okay, uh, this item was removed from your credit report. So. You know, unlike the naysayers, don't ever dispute online. Don't do this. Don't do that. They're full of crock. The thing about it, always you can dispute when you know it's going to be removed. And have the facts. Once again, if you know they're not going to verify it, dispute online. Save the trees. Just like with this, July 1st, 2022, any pay collection has to go. So if it hasn't gone, dispute it with Experian online. You can dispute it on TransUnion online. You can dispute disputed on Equifax online. So all of, all three of my reports actually had the same item. I want to say, and I don't remember the days, but uh, Equifax was maybe, you know, six to seven days. TransUnion, I want to say, was within a couple days. So look, uh, July 1st, 2022, pay, pay collections on your report. They have to go uh, dispute them. You get one on there that, you, that you're surprised about. Um, you know, and you pay it and actually don't ever pay a collection in full. You can do pennies on a dollar. 
uh, negotiate it, and then do a pay. You can also still do a pay for deletion, right? If the company won't delete it, delete it, they have to delete it. The credit bureau has to delete it once it's paid. So look, hope you got some out of this video. I'm going to try to come back a lot sooner than, than before with, uh, with some new videos. So hopefully this helps some of you guys. And once again, deleting paid collection off your experience, 20 minutes. All right. Until next video, take care, folks.